Morning everyone, this is James at Locking the Value, talking to you today about the wonderful world of crypto. Check that market cap out, 317 billion nearly. And at the peak, it broke 325, so it's had a little pullback, but great news that Bitcoin broke the resistance of $10,500. Um, there's a few things I'm going to talk about today. Um, so I'll do a quick run through. Silver, up. 18% since the start of the year. I don't often talk about um, about precious metals, but that's a big gain in one year. Worth keeping an eye on silver. There's an expectation that it's going to continue to rise. Um, and it is worth having a, a diversified portfolio. I've talked about that a lot. Um, in terms of Bitcoin, Jesus, the amount of predictions that have been coming out are insane. People are going from anywhere from 100,000 to 300,000, and it's been a little mad. Um, so I'm gonna show you a slightly older logarithmic prediction. So this is based on log regression. Now, uh, according to log regression by 16th of July, 2021, it should hit 100,000 uh, dollars. Now, this is an old uh, log regression. I think if you find a more updated one, actually it tracks that it's the July, the November. Um, but either way, the sentiment is very bullish. Now, I don't want to get too heavy into predicting the market. What I'll do is talk about actual market cycles because that's relevant to how you invest. Now, you if you were watching the market when Bitcoin spiked above 11,000, what you will have seen is that a hell of a lot of all of this was red. Um, if you're new to the market, then it's a very quick explanation. The reason a lot of it was red is people were selling off altcoin positions to to buy up um, Bitcoin or Ethereum. Um, and that's a fairly common thing that happened in the last couple market cycles. Now, people are talking about this being the beginning of the bull run. In the loosest sense of the word, we're talking beginning of the bull run. What we have to bear in mind is that in the market cycles that there have been over the last, well, on each bull run, the bull runs, the 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 time frame to reach the bull run has got gotten longer each time, and the bull run itself has gotten longer each time. So while um, the news about all the banks and PayPal and Mastercard and Visa may have instigated this and ethereum 2.0 may have instigated all of this we're not at a bull run we may be at the start we still are on accumulation phase and i've talked about this in a previous video you know doing whatever you can to maximize your position in whatever investment you like now you know what you should have is a fairly diversified portfolio with bitcoin ethereum and then your altcoins that you're invested in um so do whatever you have to. Like me, I'm using Brave Browser right now, so I'll accumulate a bit of BAT while whenever I'm on the internet. Okay, very easy to do, very simple. Okay, staking coins again, very very easy, very very simple. You strengthen your position without doing anything. It's ideal. Okay, now, and what I wanted to talk about actually was um, so Binance Coin. We've seen some growth in Binance Coin, and we will again. I'd be surprised if it doesn't break $50 in the next market cycle. But KuCoin's so undervalued. And I've talked about this before. It's not shill I'm not shilling the, the, the token. I mean, you might perceive it as that. Now, I said, and I still think this is a, this is a good buy point for KuCoin. KuCoin at its peak in the last cycle was $20. Okay. But what the benefit of KuCoin is, is that you can gain dividends effectively from the trading volume and the futures market so i did a trial and error really here because i have kucoin anyway but i wanted exact numbers to work with so what i did was i bought um i moved my my holdings around and dropped it down so i've got so i dropped it down to 200 dollars uh 200 kucoin right just to see what I would get in terms of dividends in a day's trading. 
And in a day's trading, I got 0.1 KuCoin in the last couple of days based on the huge increase in market um, market trading and futures trading. So 0.1 a day. Now, say I'm getting 0.1 a day. That means I'm getting another 36.5 over the year, right? If it hits $20, that's 730, right? Which is brilliant, okay? And you can't moan about that sort of return. And KuCoin, I think I'd be very shocked if we don't see another $20 in the next bull run. KuCoin are doing a hell of a lot on their platform from from um, the X pool and the futures, but the X pool in itself is is bringing in great great returns. And if you check out um, even just votes, so like you can when they do rounds of voting, you know if you're holding more um, more KuCoin, then when you vote for a project and it does win, you'll get a reward. So like. In the last vote, if you held um, 200 KuCoin, you'd get an $8 reward if you correct if you correctly voted, which is crazy for doing very for doing nothing. Um, and this is where we're at, and this is where everyone needs to be thinking about it. This this bull market may be beginning. This may be the very very beginning, but we've still got plenty of time to accumulate positions. So how you do that? is your call whether it's invest in crypto.com and use someone's referral code stake mco get yourself a free 50 dollars you've got a position in mco now and you've the 50 dollars you would have invested in something else you can invest in so if you were going to put 50 dollars in to neo now you can put 50 dollars into Neo. no problem okay um and also you know if you have the money and it's it's a big if but if you have the money to get yourself 5,000 crow, it puts you in a position where you can buy into the syndicate work that they do. And the syndicate, you know, their syndicate stuff, you can get 50% off of coins. Like they've got one coming up for Neo. So you, if you've got your crow, you can then buy Neo at 50% off. And obviously there's a limited amount that you can get, but it's still, if you can get it, it's a brilliant buy. Um, you know, and that that's one method. If you've got, uh, if you've not, you can sign up to Bitwalla. Now, Bitwalla is a, attached to a German bank, but if you create an account with someone's referral code and then you uh, create a Bitcoin or an Ethereum wallet, then you qualify to get 15 euros free of Bitcoin or Ethereum. Um, and it, I think it takes 15 days, but 15 to 15. But all that is is signing up with no investment. And these little strategies go a long way towards strengthening your positions. For God's sake, use use a Brave Browser. Don't use Chrome. What's the point of using Chrome when you can use Brave Browser and earn for doing nothing, for doing what you would normally do anyway? Okay, watch an advert here and there, earn some BAT. Okay, and again, I'll put the link for the Brave Browser in the description. But all of these things you can do, and they can do, and you can do them passively and easily. Okay, this market is just at the beginning of of what could be a year and a half or a year or more cycle before it even gets before it hits its peak. So passive investing and passive accumulation is where you should be looking, because once you're in those positions where they're pass you passively gaining. Then you can look at strengthening positions in things that aren't going to be passive. So, you know, if you want a stronger position in, pick one, Nano. You know, I, I've talked about Nano a few times on the channel. I'm very bullish on Nano. Um, but if you want a position on Nano, buy Nano. Yeah, but once you once you set up with the coins that you know that you have faith in, then you can diversify your portfolio because this is bloody exciting, right? And everything you should be doing now should be going, how can I make more without doing too much more? Yeah. The amount of YouTube videos around about passive earning, setting up businesses and doing passive earning. Right. This is the passive stage of crypto. So staking. DeFi to some degree. Right. All of that. 
is passive. Using a Brave browser, signing up for crypto.com and investing and getting yourself a free 50, sign up for Bitwallet for free. All of those things will do something for you. Um, and all of them will be in the description. But the question really is, is what happens next? Now, in terms of the market, we're seeing some gains on some things, but it's, you know, most of it, it's all one single digits. Bar Cape Carver, which, God, I wish I got him Carver earlier. Uh, and Divi. But um, what's going to happen in the next run, really? We've got, or what I think will happen anyway, um, is if Bitcoin holds above 10,500, um, I think we could see 12 grand Bitcoin by next week, really. I think I think it will push, push it, because the next resistance phase, I think, is about 13 and a bit. Um, but I think we could see a steady gain in Bitcoin if it stays above 10.5 for the next day or two. Um, so getting low cost Bitcoin now is unlikely unless it drops. If it drops below 10.5, it could well drop below 10. Um, keep an eye on Litecoin, by the way. Litecoin always follows Bitcoin. And Litecoin's fairly undervalued compared to... Um, Bitcoin, you know, you can get, you can, all of you can get a whole bit, uh, Litecoin, not necessarily a whole Bitcoin, but Litecoin follows Bitcoin's path. So it's worth keeping an eye on. And XRP does to some degree. So it's worth keeping an eye on that as well. Um, but what are you bullish on? What are you excited about? How are you accumulating, um, as passively as possible? If you are doing that, are you accumulating passively? That's the question. Anyway, take care, stay safe.